You're listening to I-95, Bangor's classic rock station with Jay Stu and Corey in the morning. Jay Stu and Corey rock. I-95, Jay Stu and Corey on Bangor's classic rock station at 95.7 FM. It's Friday Eve, which is always exciting. Always. So I kept thinking it was Wednesday when I woke up, so I was so excited when I realized I'd already lived through Wednesday and got to move on. Yeah. I was very happy about that. So Whereas yesterday was Wednesday and I was just mad that it was not Thursday all day yeah, long. Well, so there's that. There's it's that. it's all right. It it's the all is well with the universe. It balances itself right out. You mm-hmm. can't uh you can't complain. You're the yin the man yang, my friend. Weird, when but it comes yes. to Yeah. Uh, our attitudes here. We've got a great warrant battle going on right now. Our morning music matchup, Down Boys and Cherry Pie. Uh, you can vote 9919713. You can hit us up on Facebook if you want. You can uh, check us out on the app. We've got a little messenger that we go back and forth with with folks. So uh, how was the drive in? Is it as cold as they were saying it would be with the wind chill? Uh, it's cold. I mean, it, yeah. over here on the Acme Road, it's 16. I don't know what yeah. it was when I got out of bed. Today was one of those days I got out of bed at like nothing o'clock and was just like, you know what? Rather than uh, rattle around the house trying to be quiet, I just came to work early. <laughs> You're a good husband. Look at yeah. that. Well, it's as, it's as much about my needs as it is her need to sleep. Like, I just That's hate true. trying to be quiet. Whereas, you know, because <sighs> I'm a big dude. So trying to be quiet is impossible and you know how it is when you're trying to be quiet oh yeah that's when you know like you drop the the silverware drawer you know that sort of thing so it's just like nope i'm just gonna get out of here so that i can just walk around here and you know knock stuff over as you need fart real loud whatever i gotta do you know (laughs) whatever you gotta do fart real loud is on that list there you go (laughs) well uh Glad to to know you got in there all right, and it's not super duper oh, yeah. duper cold. No, every, everything's fine. Like, uh, drive-in was fine. It's cold. Who cares? It's Maine. Buckle up. Bundle up. Do all that stuff. You'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. It's going to be uh, sunny, chilly, but sunny today. Uh, we'll get the proper forecast from Todd Simcox later on, but, uh, you know, it's going to be a, a Maine December day. It's going to be like 30 degrees, lots of sun. Yes. Great. You know, there you go. Keep With the fire no going. Snow. No yeah. snow. Oh, the fire's going. It's been going. It's downstairs going strong. Yeah. No days. snow for miles. We get that little that little uh, dandruff, you know, yeah. dust yesterday, and that was about it. <clears throat> I think that's probably already gone, but yeah. No snow for miles. We're all good. We're all good. How about Bon Jovi? You want to do that right now? Let's do that. All right. I-95. Jay Stone, Corey on Bangor's Classic Rock Station. Morning music matchup in effect at the I-95 Facebook page. Warrant today against themselves. Mm, what is it? Cherry people, Pie and Down Boys? Yeah, people liking the Down Boys today. So we'll see if uh, Cherry Pie comes back. But otherwise, and, and if that, of course, that's an, in honor of the fact that Warrant will be here with right. Firehouse, right? Firehouse. And, and D. Snyder. D. Snyder. And, and that dude from Poison. No, Burt, Burt Michaels. Michaels. Burt Michaels. Guy. Yes, yep. Burt Michaels. I want to know with Brett Michaels, is is that whole thing a hairpiece? You know what I mean? Like, does he lift off the bandana and his oh, whole boy, head comes off? I hope off? not. Oh, why do you ruin things? Now I've got that this, visual and I'm like, oh, no. Listen, this is this is stuck in my head, too. This is my brain worm for the day. It's like I have this vision of him maybe actually even being like a, you know, having a, like a decent bald head, right? But it's it's just like... Just lift that thing off. Aww. And like his whole little, you know, Kentucky waterfall all comes off in one shot. You know what I mean? With the I bandana mean, he does and the that cowboy hat. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, he's oh, he's boy. never without some sort of cover. It's just, it's never. Even in that explicit video of him and Pamela Anderson online, he's got a bandana on. <laughs> I don't know these things. Thank oh. you for filling me in on that. Okay. Oh, whatever. You know, come on. The internet was a the Wild West back in the day. But yeah, That's that true. that was the thing back. Poor Pamela. You know, she, it's, it's not like that was her only celebrity video. Oh, I know. But uh, I know. yeah, he uh, he still had his bandana on. So I, maybe it's maybe it's uh, maybe it's like Ladies' Choice. <laughs> you know, do you want me to leave it on? Do you want me to take oh, it? Oh boy. Oh, you're killing me here, Smalls. Uh, let's just think about the fact that we've got <laughs> Cherry Pie 
and down boys. Uh, that's our battle today. Uh, so you can, again, hit us up on the normal spots, 991-9713. You can hit us up on Facebook or the uh, the app right now and vote. Hopefully, whatever you are doing, you're staying nice and cozy because, gosh, I'm, it's still dark out there. Like, it's still eh, dark. It's not I'll be happy bad. when it starts to lighten up a little bit. It's already lightening up a little bit. <sighs> I did the math once. If it makes you feel any better. Uh, yeah, it's not getting any longer. I know you told no, me no, no, last no. week. No, listen. God, I love how you love to jump right in with what you know I'm going to say. <laughs> All right. So, Go for it. by I think it is the end of February, we will have dark, uh, excuse me, light after 5 p.m. again. Oh, good. So, you know, that's not too bad. You only have to sort of suffer through the next couple months and then it'll be like light until <laughs> supper time again. <laughs> Great. I'll put my suffering pants back on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like your Let's must do pants. This. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right. Uh, later on this morning, we will have tickets to uh, Foreigner and Styx and John Waite coming to the Main Savings Amphitheater. So you'll have another chance to do that with Weed or Steed, which people are digging, which I like. Uh, you can still head over right now and put your name in the hat for those Brian Adams tickets because he's coming with Dave Stewart from the Eurythmics on St. Patty's Day to the Cross Insurance Center. So Bangor blown up as a destination for all those who are on their way out of classic rock and roll retirement. Hey, <laughs> Just, we're, we're, the, we're the Branson, Missouri of classic rock. <laughs> 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 anyway, stay right here with us and get your votes in for the morning music matchup. I have Jay Stu and Corey on Bangor's classic rock station. See, look, Corey, the sun's coming out now. I see that. Look at that. Nature did its job. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Never ceases to. Congrats, leave. nature. Thanks, nature. <laughs> Thanks for working. For showing once. up <laughs> with the sunshine. Yeah. We appreciate that. Yeah, I was looking ahead, like you said, at, at the forecast a little bit, and there isn't there isn't a single ounce of snow, is it? No, in fact, I mean, there's an article up uh, at our website, the Euro model or whatever it is, even predicts we could have like warmer than usual weather at Christmas. You know, some someone dared to use the word heat wave. I think that's a little extreme for December because, you know, what what's a heat wave? Is it going to get up to 50? You know, ooh, that'd be nice. But, you know, that's not mm. like a, a heat wave. Let's let's just calm down there. Good for people who are traveling and that the road Absolutely. conditions ought to be just fine. But for those who are looking for a romanticized, whimsical white Christmas, it's not going to happen. No. Unless you get yourself a big snow gun, like I said, all the on the area. A lot of spray paint. Yeah. Just go down and <laughs> uh, scissors and a bunch of paper. I mean, you could make a very interesting. Oof. Yeah, it would take a while. To fill your yard? Absolutely. Especially my. I have a kid with enough yard. energy, Joe. I feel like if I just went, hey, Mary, take this and do what you can, to, to, she'd be out there and like it would be great. Well, then uh, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. You know, if we need some help with uh, fake snow via paper fake flakes. Paper snow. Fake it's paper snow. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Easy to shovel. It's all good. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Uh, hey, you got to think outside the box. Well, sure. So it was it was all down boys for a minute, and then cherry pie started making a comeback. Where are we at? Yes, at this it point? did. Because we're oh, we're we about are definitely to... cherry pieing it up right now. Oh, okay. uh, cherry pie took the lead. Yep. Because we're we're uh, we're at the light at the end of the tunnel phase. <laughs> With of this one vote for Uncle Tom's Cabin, thanks to Brian. So, yep. Well. Hey, it's a great tune. In fact, mm -hmm. that was kind of the tune that broke poor Janie Lane. You know what I mean? Like he wanted to, basically, he wanted that whole album. He wanted it to be called Uncle Con uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin. And it was supposed to be like kind of like this quasi concept record kind of thing. It was mm. going to be his like statement record. And the label was like, yeah, no. And mm. we need a hit single. So he almost wrote Cherry Pie out of protest. It was just like, spite. yeah, it was and a spite. And then it backfired. <laughs> yeah. Sure did. <laughs> yeah. So looks like we'll, uh, we'll be eating some cherry pie here pretty soon. I guess so. Or, uh, or down boys will make a comeback. Who knows? Who knows? It's up to you. It's up to you. 991-9713. Yes, Ian. I will answer the phone. And, uh, Let's, uh, let's let's finish up the battle. Let's wrap up the matchup on I-95. I-95, Bangor's classic rock station. Jay Stu and Corey here today. Warrant beating out Warrant today. There you go. That means Down Boy is going to go into the mix with Good Times, Bad Times from Zeppelin, Billy Idol's Yelling at the Christmas Tree, and the Stones' Street Fighting Man. It's going to be a weird battle tomorrow. Yeah, whatever.
It's been a, it's, it's been, been a while since we've had a good old fashioned like freak show of a battle, and that's not yep. even that bad. I mean, other than the Billy Idol Christmas song in the middle of it, but yeah, whatever. I still can't believe like next week is the last week, and then Christmas is that weekend. I'm just I'm looking at the calendar, going crap. I'm so far behind. I'm I did feeling, get the Christmas cards. I'm feeling pretty prepared. You Look know, at you well. I got something for my mom. I got something for, I got lots of things for my wife. Uh, I imagine we'll get some presents for the dog. Because, <laughs> you know, various chew toys. Hopefully he's not listening right now so that yeah. uh, he knows what we're yeah. getting him. Because so that would be terrible. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, uh, I have, I've not done the cookies. My tree's still in the basement. <laughs> the lights aren't up yeah. anywhere. I did. I get the Christmas cards in yesterday, so I'm going to try and get those addressed at some point, maybe on Sunday. So I don't know. I think people a lot of times put way too much pressure on themselves at the holidays. I agree. You know, it's just like and oof. coming off of just being sick, like I keep reminding myself, "Hey, you're home for Christmas, and that's a big thing because you were in the hospital for Thanksgiving." <laughs> so. Yeah. That's, uh, but it's hard when you're used to doing a lot and you're like, mm. so uh, be gentle with yourselves if you can't do it all. I know there are a lot of people too, I, and I've been unfortunately seeing a lot of posts and stuff about this too, about people who, uh, you know, they lost a, a loved one this year and it's going to be a rough Christmas. So do what you can and just hang on. I think that's pretty much my motto for the, the rest of the year. Do, do what we can and just hang on into the nice. new year. Once again, yep. we're a beacon of positivity here for your hey, morning. I, I think that's positive. Do what you can and hang on. <laughs> I'm not that, saying let go and let it all fall. Like, just go sit fetal in a, in a corner and cry. No, that's true. You haven't said that. I think do that. what you can and hang on is a good, <laughs> is, a, is a very positive motto. <laughs> all right. Good to know. I, I, it, it, it sets the bar very low. I do that. I so, set the bar super low, so I'm never disappointed. <laughs> perfect. Would you like to give away some tickets next hour? We can do that. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll make somebody's Christmas special. How about that? I mean, not with any physical thing in your hand. We're going to send you a Ticketmaster link, but just the same. <laughs> Still, that's cool. <laughs> you get the, the, the thought. You get to walk around going, I've got foreigner tickets. <laughs> and you might. You know, if you've already bought your own, but that's True. that's a whole other thing. True. But anyway, yeah, we got that coming up next hour. So stay right here, I-95. I-95, Jay, Stu, and Corey on Bangor's classic rock station. Oh, it's getting bright out now, Corey. It's wonderful. It's, uh, it's everything everybody wanted to be. Oh, oh, I went to the gambling site again. Here comes Oh, HR. you're going to get dinged. <laughs> you meant to go. Not there. <clears throat> yep. But you keep getting in trouble. Didn't you get in trouble last time by accident by clicking on something? You had to sit through a seminar. Well, you know, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty good like that. Yeah, I'm just trying to navigate our stuff, and it's like it's it's funny because you can allegedly sort of access that thing from here, but then you can't. Uh, it was weird. Yeah, I I clicked on a Facebook page last year. That uh, brought me to an outside website by accident. I, I swear to God, I know everybody's like, ooh, 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 ooh. but then uh, sure enough, like the next day from HR, it's like, hey, you just pretty much automatically signed up for, you know, scam training or whatever it was. And I was yep. like, oh, come on. Yep. So, yeah. Do you uh, do it again? This is the second time this week that you've done it by accident. Hey, <laughs> you know, I, I blame, <laughs> I blame, I blame DraftKings. I'm kidding. All right. Uh, so we're going to play Weed or Steed right now. Here we go. 9919713. If you want to see Foreigner and Sticks with uh, you know, a John name Wade. that I, yeah, a name that I forgot about for a couple of days. He ain't missing you at all. That's okay. I I it, it was the feeling is mutual. So <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> That'll be awkward if we ever have to interview him. I'll have to be like, "Oh yeah, there's that time I said I was not missing you at all." Anyway, um, you just have to tell us if it is a strain of, of cannabis or if it is a Kentucky Derby winner. If you can tell us that, then uh, you can get your hands on these sweet tickets. So 9919713. To let you know, if you don't make it through on the phone, you do not need a code or anything else. You can go straight over to the app and yeah. put your name in there as well. Yeah, you just register. Just slap your info in there. You're good to go. Everybody, everybody is, uh, is in. 
So let's get that going right now on I-95. I-95, who's this? This is Kevin. Kevin, how you doing, my man? I'm doing much better now, thank you. Eh, I think. Well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see about that. So uh, you're going to play a little game with us this morning called Weed or Steed. Are you prepared to uh, play along? I'm prepared, but I know nothing about weed. <laughs> We're just going to give you a name, and you have to tell us whether it is the name of a strain of weed or whether it's the name of a Kentucky Derby winner. That's simple. And if you are correct, oh. then, of course, you're going to win the tickets. How about that? That sounds great, but I forgot to tell you that I know nothing about the Kentucky Derby either. <laughs> yeah. Either way, you get a 50-50 chance, right? Yeah, exactly. I like exactly. That all right. So here, for all, for all, the, for all the tickets in, in Bangor, <laughs> <laughs> the, the name is Northern Dancer. Is that weed or steed? I'm going to go with speed on that one. You Boom. heard me wrong. Yes. <laughs> How about that? Well you done, man. You these tickets. I, you know what? I've been, I've been trying all week. So I'm so pleased to get in. I'm going to let my wife know. Well, hopefully he brings his wife to the show. <laughs> hey, I want hey, tickets. Honey. Me and Dawn are going to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there you go, Kevin. We had Kevin. We had Midge. Uh, we had Tracy. We had Eric win this week, so great. We've got another set for tomorrow. And, of course, don't forget, you can always uh, link up over at the uh, app and get yourself Absolutely. in there, too. We have, a little bit later on this morning, some more tickets to something else that's going to be pretty cool. This weekend, Willy Wonka, or I should say, not Willy Wonka, just Wonka. It's the story of how Willy Wonka came to be Willy it's Wonka. It's the prequel. It's, it's the prequel. Yes. Uh, about how he met the Oompa Loompas and all. So we've got some tickets to Bangor Mall Cinemas to go check that out. And we will give those away a little bit later on this morning as well. There we go. We'll, we'll get that. Maybe we'll get that done this hour. I'm feeling ambitious. All right, let's do. All right, we'll work on that too. So uh, stay right here. So much emotion. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Axel. Anyway, oh, I-95, actual. Bangor's classic rock station. Uh, yeah, how about that? Good old yeah. Axel. I think we should give something else away, just like you said. Uh, we've got this premiere that's happening tomorrow for Wonka, which is the new, um, pre as you said, prequel to Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. It tells about how he came to be. And uh, that is going to be, I think, kicking off, they said, at 11.45 tomorrow uh, at the Bangor Mall Cinemas. And you want to win tickets to the opening weekend of that? We've got them for you. Two tickets to check it out this weekend. Uh, you can Two tickets also... to Wonka Dice. Yes, to Wonka Dice. <laughs> exactly. And while you're there, you can actually you can buy uh, the golden tickets for a chance to win a family uh, fun pack, which includes the movie tickets. I think four, four sure. tickets, a bucket of popcorn and drinks candy and, and all sorts of fun stuff so while you're there checking it out if it's something you like and you want to bring your family back you can buy tickets or, or the golden ticket and win a chance for that too which is is kind of cool but we're going to give you two right now yeah first caller sure Let's if you want to go see wonka there we go phone's ringing you get you get to go see wonka and well just you so there you go <laughs> <laughs> Stay right with us here on I-95. At Bangor's Classic Rock Station. Jay Stu and Corey here. So uh, congrats to Liz. She won tickets to go see Wonka in its premiere weekend this weekend. It's opening up at Bangor Mall Cinema, so you can go and check that out if you want. And uh, that should be interesting. Timothy Chalamet, I like to say his name because it's uh, it's so arty sounding. Wow. He's he's playing Wonka. He's playing he's, William He's the Wonka. You He's Wonka. Wonka. Yeah, well, <laughs> it looks like oh, it's going to yeah. be whimsical. I don't know. I, I I remember seeing, I think it was last month, that trailer come out, and I was like, oh, that looks interesting. Hugh Grant I might see that. definitely complaining about his experience as far as being the Oompa Loompa. Being an Oompa Loompa? Yeah. yeah. He has I nothing mean, good to say about any of that, but... Whatever. He signed up to be an Oompa Loompa. Movie's you done. know what he's mad about? He's mad that he's not Wonka. Oh, he's, well. You know. He's too old. Give it up. I I know, but he doesn't believe that. Nah. In his mind, he's still Hugh Grant. He Whatever. should have been the lead, but he's he's. I'm sure he's mad about being a, an Oompa. Now, did you ever read the book, Charlie no. and the Chocolate, Chocolate Factory? Uh, <laughs> if you read it as an adult, you may not let your kids read it. <laughs> it's one of those times. It's one of those things where the book was definitely watered way down 
to make what was the movie that we're all most familiar with. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I'm not saying it was it was bad or or wildly inappropriate, but Roald Dahl's books uh, are very dark and usually a lot more for adults than they are for kids. Yeah. So uh, especially he's written some like borderline like horror stories before. Yeah, I, you don't think Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory is a <laughs> Kind of. It's not a horror story. Those kids never come back out. There's a neat collection on, uh, is it Netflix? It's uh, Wes Anderson. Uh, Wes Anderson did a whole series of Roald Dahl short stories. Really? And made them into little little film shorts. They're all like 20 minutes, half hour long. And it's it's interesting. And they're very odd. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely I mean, not for kids. <laughs> yeah, there. I I think. I mean, all of the the books that I remember, with the exception of James, James and the Giant Peach, he did that. I mean, not James mm-hmm. and the Giant Peach, uh, the BFG, right? BFG. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, so. no, he did James and the Big Giant Friendly Peach. Giant? Oh, I don't know about that. Probably. I don't know. I didn't read Big Friendly Giant. Oh, that's so. a good one. That wasn't either that. way. But Wonka premiere. This weekend. This weekend. Liz is going to go. Congratulations, Liz. Yes. Uh, when we come back, of course, there's more to get to at the website. We got to fill in, uh, you know, maybe update a couple things, but uh, stay right